this machine to put in simple terms is a device operator. It's modern technology whereby it can produce ultrasound, the same uh, waves we use in diagnostic patients. It can also produce a jet, a very fine jet of fluid which is used to dissect tissue. It can suck at the same time. We just play around with the patterns. Oh, yeah, this, this machine is the first machine to be acquired in this country and the wider Eastern and Central Africa region. We only have similar machines in Egypt and South Africa. The basic use for this machine is to split the liver. It's used to split the liver, primarily liver lesions or tumors, if you want to call them. Areas where we have liver tumors can be cut off from the rest of the liver using this machine in a very safe manner. Unlike before, where you could cut the liver with other instruments and you end up with bleeding. This one leaves you a very clean field of surgery. So it makes it possible to do very complex operations. And number two, and that's why this machine is here, intending to start a liver transplant unit, it is used to split livers for liver transplant. Liver conditions in this country are prevalent, like any other disease. It's only that uh, the level of management of liver diseases before has been largely conservative, but we have equal numbers like elsewhere because uh, in our liver clinic at Kenyatta National Hospital, we see approximately 40 to 50 patients at every clinic visit. And out of those, we have about 15 patients who have end-stage liver uh, failure. And these are some of the patients now we're looking forward to managing uh, by transplant using this machine. Well, the machine, apart from the inner components, electronic components that generate the ultras ultrasonic frequency, uh, it comprises of the main element is the handpiece. This is what produces the jets when you are doing the discussion in the liver. And the second thing is the foot switch. It is through the foot switch that you are create the generator inside to give you the jet. And then it has a suction aspiration system. When you are discussing, blood could form at the point where you are doing surgery you need to suck it out. So that suction unit connected to that receiver tank, receiver receptacle will take out the suction. The rest is just the control keyboard here. When you switch on, it does its own self tests and it has a preset value. There is 25. Ah. If it is more than that, it remains you have to switch it on again so that it does a second test until it gets that. That's the calibration aspect. Okay. It is digital technology, okay. software, microprocessor control system. Okay. Once you set a certain value, that's what you get. Okay. With no deviations, no much uh, deviations. With a plus about 0.5 or 0.2 deviation. So how are those values important? Like they you can't like, you know where like, exactly the two might Like when there is current, if you have excess current, there are certain relations that tissues in the body you can't cut with uh, so much current. That's why the intensity matters a lot. The frequency you are giving is very important. So you avoid affecting other tissues. You go to specific sites. Me as a nurse, I appreciate the fact this new technology of improving the management of patients with liver problems, especially for liver transplant, which has not been there in the country. And as for now, we have factored four nurses proceeding for training on how to how, this, how to use this machine, how they are going to support the surgeon during the, the operations of this and uh, of using this this liver transplant machine. And we have also factored uh, anesthetist, technologist who is going to work together, form a team. Because you know, surgery cannot be done by one person; it is a team which will do for the success of surgery. I'm very happy for the new technology. And also having a new machine for deliver surgery and having new surgeons who will be working with the machine to improve the management of our patients.